welcome to the new episode of pcs practical in this session i am going to discuss about boot app so you can see on the screen the boot app i have already accessed so in boot app you'll get five different sections <coughs> the first section which shows all the types of view to view a document in different manner so we have read mode view print layout view web layout view outline view draft view right in each and every view your document looks different uh, i mean the content will be the same but the the viewing uh, the method are the different so by default uh, we see the document in the print layout view let's see the read mode so the kind of a book mode so that uh, you can navigate the pages so this is the read mode right so you can navigate your pages like a slide to close this view you have to just uh, press escape so you can get back to the print layout view uh, the next is web layout view uh, how your document looks on the web document so it's a web layout view and the print layout view is like how your document is going to be print on the uh, page the hard paper the outline view right so you can get the number of lines and the uh, words so you can see the how many words available in this document total 26000 997 words right so this is the outline view and the last we have a draft view for drafting your document so you can draft your document well but normally we use a print layout view right okay uh, I'll come back to print layout view now you can see the ruler bar is visible so in the next panel we have the show section uh, in the view tab so you can see the ruler bar so you can disable it the horizontal and the vertical ruler the grid lines right in how much area you can uh, actually print your content so for that a grid line and the navigation pen right so i'll close the grid line this is the navigation pen to navigate your particular pages and the result the next we have a zoom tab so uh, in zoom section you can zoom out your pages let's say uh, suppose you want to see the multiple pages right so you can see uh, my zoom section that is 35 percent so I can maximize it right so this is how you can get the pages I mean in one screen you can get the multiple pages so that depends on the uh, zoom percentage right so if I will zoom out so instead of two page maybe I'll get four page six page eight page as well right so if you click on one page it shows one page only 
fine uh, to make it 100% zoom your document uh, the page width you can increase and decrease the next we have the new window I mean if you want to arrange your window right uh, side by side or you can split your window right so you can see your document is split in two sections the upper section and lower section right so here you will have a two different uh, horizontal ruler bar as well as the vertical ruler bar right same way this is also another you can actually get the page number that this section shows the page number three and this section sh also shows the page number three so in this case you can get the two different page information in one window right if you want to uh, open a multiple window right so in four section three section or the two section you can um, split uh, your window and you can resize your window and you can uh, get your work let's say from one document you can read the content and in another document you can type right so you can arrange the two different windows like that So this is how, okay, see, this is two different window. I have created another, right, same document, but in different windows you can open it. Okay, so this is how you can use the windows option. And the last, that is macro. It is also the important uh, functionality of Word. So uh, basically macro is a, a small uh, programming uh, functionality in which you can record the uh, we can say for you can record the uh, uh, formattings and you can create a shortcut key or a shortcut tool so that by clicking on that uh, tool or by using a shortcut key you can apply your all formattings on your content at same time let's say <coughs> in the whole document I want to apply uh, I want to let's say apply the font as Times New Roman the size is 14 the bold uh, with uh, central line or we can say justify right so these are the basic formattings which I want to apply but this formatting I want to apply on multiple paragraphs so uh, again and again I have to apply all the formattings right and by that way I can format my multiple paragraphs so which takes too much time so instead of that I can make it one tool or the shortcut key so that I'll just need to uh, copy that paragraph and uh, select that particular uh, you can say uh, that tool or you can say that uh, key uh, uh, I mean you need to just press the shortcut key so I'll show you how to do that go to the view menu macro and in that record a macro so you have to decide what you want to create whether you want to create a button uh, which I, I just now said that is a tool right so you can create your own button or the tool you can say or the keyboard right so I'll apply the name format one right so I'll select a keyboard now you have to decide a key now uh, you have to create a unique key 
you can't use a similar shortcut key like control z which is already assigned for undo control c for copy and control n for new right so what i'm going to do i'm going to apply control alter and z and i will assign it okay and i will close it now you can see after my cursor you can find the record option that means you have you have started recording right so uh, now i have to select all the formattings which i want to record so what i'm going to do i'll select times new roman uh, the size of the font i want 12 uh, I want bold and with that I want bold and with that the uh, font color let's say blue right and i'll just make it center line so now that formattings are sufficient for me now i'll just stop formatting so i'll again open the view tab select macros and select stop recording right so now if you want to see uh, which for macro you have created so format one you have created if you want you can run it from here but i'll show you how to use it right so what you have to do you have to select your paragraph and press ctrl alter z right see so you can see that except that font color right each and every uh, formats are applied to your paragraph so remember in your uh, macro uh, you are not uh, you are not able to uh, apply the font color right so just to show you that demonstration i have selected a font color blue this word is blue just because at the time of the record macro my cursor is near to that device word and i have selected blue color so that it comes in blue color otherwise it won't right so now i can apply this format to any of the content see i'll select this and i'll apply control shift plus sorry control alter plus z so this is how you can apply your uh, set of uh, formats uh, in single stroke right so that uh, this is how you can save your time right to format your document so for different formatting you can create a different shortcuts you can create a different uh, short buttons right and you can apply it the next that I'm going to discuss to with you that is again record macro uh, for mat 2 okay now this is your separator see this is like uh, this all are the uh, icons and you can create your own icon for that you have to add the particular icon image and all right so I'm going to select a specific icon so I will add it right and you can customize it you can uh, import it right I'll click okay and you can see your record 
is already started so instead of times new roman i'll make it calibri i'll make it 11 and justify and remove the bold yes so i'll just stop my recording and i'll show you it's available here your shortcut right so i'll select the content and i'll just click on this button which you have just now created through the macro so this is how you can apply the formatting right easy simple so this is how you can use the macro and you can save your time thanks for watching my video we'll meet soon in the next session